Well, this is part two of Pillsbury versus Marco, played in Paris, 1900. And uh, White just made its 14th move of Queen to H3, and I was just talking about the mate threats against this pawn right here, and how should Black respond, because White's probably planning on playing this move here, starting a cascading effect of where White can deliver checkmate. So, well, let's just take uh, maybe... Black decides to take the knight on uh, D on e5. Well, then White would just take this, take the knight on f6, now threatening mate. So probably Black would play knight to g6. But then uh, White just plays a uh, bishop takes e7, queen takes e7, e5, evicting the knight. Now, uh, actually, this knight doesn't really have any good that can go here or here. And then let's say we just move the knight back to h8. It doesn't really matter. And then white just plays this move here, which attacks the queen and threatens mate. So that move does not work. Now let's say rook, uh, white, black made a just any old move. Uh, but I'm actually going to make a move which will matter in some of the variations, and I'm actually going to move this rook here to e8. The reason there, because in these variations, as you'll see, is that it protects this bishop here. Because now what happens is that white takes the knight on d7, the queen takes. Seeing what would happen if I didn't move this rook to e8 here is that we would have a variation where uh, white could win a piece by taking the queen and then the knight takes and then if this rook was not here then uh, white would just take the bishop and win the bishop and winning the game but since we can't do that then we have to find another alternative and the alternative is to uh, even with making that move that backs up uh, this bishop here, or protects the bishop, white has this move of um, um, taking bishop on h7 check. Obviously the knight can't take the bishop because that would uh, the knight's protecting the queen, so the queen would fall. So the king is forced to go to h uh, uh, f8, and now Bishop comes back, attacking the queen. Queen goes back to d8. Doesn't the queen can go to a number of squares? Actually, doesn't really matter because the queen will come to h8 check. The knight has to come back. Now the bishop comes in, threatening mate. Bishop takes, pawn takes. King moves out. Queen takes g7 and uh, white is two pawns up with a nice attack so that does uh, that does not work so the move that uh, black makes is g6 this is what white wants now you know we've seen all these games where moving a pawn out in front of the king as we weaken the pawn structure and now the other side is going to take advantage of that how does white take advantage of this well f5 now White is threatening to crack open the, the pawns, and also it's going to, when this uh, pawn here uh, goes away or is, takes or is captured, uh, it will open up the file, or half, or, you know, the file will be half open for the rook and the other rook to come into the game. Uh, black now plays b4, trying to divert White's attention to the queen side, but here uh, White just takes the pawn. So it's going to say, you know what, you can take the knight over here. This knight really isn't doing anything because I'm using these pieces right here to attack you with. This knight over, whoops, this, I didn't mean to click that one. These pieces are still in play in the attack. You can take that knight, it doesn't, it's not doing too much in my attack. So go ahead and take it if you want to, but uh, here uh, black plays. Um, H takes uh, G6. The reason why you don't play F takes G6 is because Queen check. And then the King comes up. The Knight takes. And Black can take the Knight if it wants to. And then 
black will just take the rook, queen takes, and then this is the position, and basically white has an advantage. So that's why you don't take with the other pawn, that's why you have to take with the h pawn. And now the queen comes to h4, adding another attacker against this um, knight here. Obviously the knight cannot move, or now the knight cannot move because uh, white will just win the bishop. Um, basically it seems like uh, white is now losing a piece, but uh, um, because black just took the knight, but now white plays knight to d7, basically taking away a defender of the knight. And now the queen has to recapture, taking away another defender. And now a move which probably you didn't anticipate is the rook takes. The reason the rook takes is that if, if black decides to take the rook, then white recaptures and it's going to be mate next move for white. So the rook captures and black cannot take the rook. So now black takes or plays a5. The idea is to uh, bring the rook up to where we'll uh, hopefully get rid of the rook here. White brings the other rook into play. So if you don't know, it's now what, what, what white's threatening now is uh, actually mate, and let's say just black made some silly move like a4, then it would be bishop takes, pawn takes, and checkmate. But it isn't what, uh, but black plays rook to a6. And now white continues with that, uh, with sort of undermining the uh, pawn shield or the protection around the king with bishop takes g6, black plays, f takes g6, and actually resigned right here. So Marco actually resigned right here because it's actually like mate in six or eight moves. And with that, and how that turns out is the, this is how it would turn out. This is the mate in six or eight. I, I don't know how many it is, but it's a take, so check, bishop takes, rook takes, check, King takes, queen to f, h8, check, king to uh, f7, queen to h7. Now the king has to go to, uh, the, the king would like to go to this square, but if it does, then the queen just comes to this square, giving checkmate. So the king has to go to uh, f8, and now the queen takes, queen takes queen. So before, if you don't know, uh, white was actually down material, but now white is up material. And now it doesn't matter what move black makes. It can make any move on the board, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to play bishop to uh, uh, c6, where I'm attacking the queen and protecting the bishop. It doesn't really matter what move I do, because uh, check, bishop to h6, check, and then king to g8, and checkmate. So that is the game between Pillsbury and Marco.